Hello, this is Eric Cunningham. Put together a presentation on earned value and also um, going to show how to uh, use the activity usage spreadsheet to uh, copy data into Excel in order to compare revisions of the same project. So I'll, I'll go through this, through this thing on a step-by-step -step basis. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sample project, um, excavation, build forms, build forms two, set rebar. The uh, colors of the bars are, are what everybody's used to. Blue for the work done, red for critical remaining, green for critical or for non-remaining, non-critical remaining work. Yellow bars are the uh, project baseline. Now, uh, you can see this uh, project was baselined to, for a start date on uh, April 28th. The project has been updated once to uh, May the 5th. The project had a one day delay in getting started. The duration of this first activity was the same as what was expected. So the uh, Instead of finishing on Friday, the activity is finishing up on uh, Monday of the next week, pushing the rest of the activities out a day. Uh, very simple, but I um, wanted to keep it that way to, uh, to show you the, how this earned value works here. Now, as we've only got uh, work done on one activity, that's going to be the center of our earned value analysis. So I'll show the columns that I've got set up. And bring the Gantt chart back. Okay, we said we're going to have one labor working eight hours a day times five days. So we plan to have 40 hours worth of work done. The labor actually worked four days times eight hours a day. So uh, 32 hours of actual labor. But going out in the field, we looked at his work, and he's about 90% done. That's the physical percent complete right there. So 90 times the planned value of 40 gives us the earned value of 36 hours worth of work done. So that's uh, the labor is doing pretty good there. So we're going to take these three numbers and uh, start producing some earned value parameters. First one. Schedule Performance Index, SPI. This one, you take the uh, earned value, 36, divided by the planned value, that's 40, gives you 0 0.9. 0.9 meaning that we are behind schedule, but 0.9 is not too bad. Any, anything below 1 is behind schedule, anything above 1 is ahead. Going to the cost. Now this tells us if we're spending our man hours or if we were looking at dollars, uh, if we're spending wisely. Now this 1.13, again, anything above one is good. So we're spending wisely. The uh, uh, method of calculating this you take the uh, earned value, 36, divided by the actual, 32, and that will give you 1.13. So we're we're definitely uh, uh, getting plenty of plenty of bang for the buck. On a schedule variance, we are four hours behind schedule. There's nothing more than the earned value minus the planned value. Cost variance, uh, another simple calculation. This is uh, earned value minus the actual uh, labor cost. That gives you four to the good. Very simple, very effective, but this tells you exactly what's going on. Now I want to bring up the uh, activity usage spreadsheet right here. 
bring this divider bar back, move things around a bit. Now here we have the activity usage spreadsheet with um, four parameters that, that I picked. Uh, you can show you, I show you that you can pick spreadsheet fields. You can pick plenty of uh, plenty of things here. I mean, there's a couple of hundred. But uh, let's let's stay with uh, with what I've already selected here. Cumulative actual units. Um, Thirty-two for the first week, and that's not going to go up since we're since we've only done one one week worth of work. Cumulative baseline project units. 40 for the first week, and this keeps on going up, as you can see. Cumulative actual cost. Uh, for the first week, we had one laborer, and we were paying him $10 an hour, hence the $320. The uh, cumulative uh, baseline project cost for the first week was $400. Again, 40 times 10, $400. All of the uh, activities below here will roll up into this into this uh, uh, project summary. Now, uh, this just by uh, right click, copy, and you can paste it straight into Excel. That'll give you all these columns here. It'll give you all the columns up on top, and it'll give you all of this information in here. Which I, I'll show you this in a minute. On to the second uh, project, or the uh, uh, revision of the first project, loading. Uh, let me reset this thing. On the uh, WBS in green, you can see the first project. Uh, that's four activities. And for here, there's additional work. Trying to keep things simple, all I did was add uh, two activities to the project, and so we're going to call this a, a revision of the first project. So, looking at this activity usage spreadsheet, we've, we're going to have some changes in the cumulative baseline project costs and the cumulative baseline project units. They will go up in accordance with the hours that are into these two activities. And again, to uh, get this into Excel, uh, that was a right, that was a right click, by the way. Copy, and then if Excel was open, it would be a paste in Excel. Now I've I've already I've already done the work here to in order to keep things speeding right along. So this is the Excel sheet. This area up here this is what this is what came through the uh, first copy paste and next group ah <laughs> excuse me that's the second copy paste right there now what we needed was the uh, was the dates in the cumulative baseline labor cost so I merely uh, uh, copied from up here. Whoops, I'm sorry. Copied from up here to there. And then the uh, baseline project labor costs. Copy that, paste it in the, into there. Same down below. Using, using this data, it was easy to create this chart, which shows the uh, in blue the line uh, for the cash flow for the first project of only the f of the first four activities, and then the uh, sort of pinkish bar or pinkish line, excuse me. This represents uh, the second revision where we added a, a couple of activities. So I hope this helps somebody. And thank you for watching.